guys and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Paulina. I got the gastric sleeve gastrectomy surgery, weight loss surgery on August 1st, 2019. Today is August 1st, 2020. It is my year mark. I am filming on my year mark. This will be up tomorrow on the 2nd, but I am actually filming on the 1st. I usually film during the week, but I really wanted to film it on my actual day so I can really express how I feel today. So yeah, this video is going to be about so many different things. It's going to be about why I got the surgery, how my family and my friends reacted to it, how they've supported me, how they've supported me during the journey, um, non-scale victories, uh, weight loss, so many things. It's just going to be about my entire year. So if you guys are interested, then please keep on watching. So this video is probably going to be a hard video to film. Um, I was going to do a Q&A, but I decided not to because I feel like I have a lot of different topics that I want to talk about. Um, on all my other videos, I have a Q and A. You know, I get to the point. It's it's good to go, and then I move on. This video, I wanted it to be a little bit deeper um, about my journey. I first wanted to start off by saying that I have dropped 142 pounds down. 142 pounds down. So I was 304 um, two weeks before sur surgery. So around July. My birthday is July 24th, around that time, a little bit earlier than that, I had to do a two, um, I did Herbalife, so I did two shakes and a protein meal and some snacks, and I dropped, um, weight before, a little bit of weight. On my actual surgery date, August 1st, I was 291. Um, I only had to do a liquid diet for one day before surgery. I know other people have to do it for two weeks. It ranges for everyone, but that was for me. Um... But yeah, those are kind of my stats. I'm 5'4", so you guys can kind of picture. Um, I'm 5'4", and today I am 160 pounds. So I went from 304 to 160, which is insane. Um, in my head, I remember saying that my goal was 150. And then I even dropped it down to 140. And now, I am really trying to learn how a number doesn't define you. Really. So the reason I say that is because I'm a very like I'm a very check lit check off list type of person. I might get emotional like I'm already getting emotional like oh my god calm down. Anyways, um, you know during this whole process I've weighed myself um, every day up until maybe about ten months post op where I decided I need to put the scale away. I tried to do once a week and I still couldn't do it. It was every single day um, and it was a it was. It worked for me just because I was dropping weight. Up until about 10 months post-op, I lost weight every single week. And it could be annoying because I had people reach out to me like, what do you do to break a stall? I never stalled until I met my goal. Um, and I don't know, I'm not gonna say I don't know why I worked my butt off, but if you're stalling, it doesn't mean you're not working your butt off. Everyone's different, every body is different, but that was just me. I, it's a blessing. I dropped weight every week, even if it was a pound. I think I had one week where I lost zero towards the end, but other than that, I lost every week, which was a humongous blessing. Um, starting off with the why. Why did I get the surgery? So growing up, when I got my period, I was around, I was, mm, I was, I think I was like 10, maybe. Um, you know, when I was younger than that, I was, I mean, I was normal. I was a little chubby, you know, whatever. And then I did get my period and I got chubby. Um, it was, I mean, as a family, we ate pretty healthy, but then we would eat out on the weekends. And it was a lot of the things of like celebrating something. So like we win a soccer game, we eat, we, um got an award we ate right and it, it's fine but the thing is is i would still eat like that even when it wasn't a celebration um i started working when i was 15. i worked at restaurants um so guess what restaurants meant free food you know i was older already my parents weren't going to be like paulina what are you eating be careful you know whatever my parents are amazing my parents have always encouraged me and my sister to be confident regardless of our size they never made us feel less of they never made us feel um like we were anything less i can't find the words we were anything less because we were overweight ever 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 
and that is a huge blessing and that is a huge reason i think of our success oh my gosh why am i crying already oh my god and i just started guys um i meet so many people that have parents that constantly tell them about their weight always constantly tell them that if they don't look a certain way they're not good enough and then wow hold on if you know me in real life if this is my sister watching you already know that this video is super hard for me and that i'm a super emotional person get it together Ponya. okay i've met so many people that have family or have parents and that constantly tell them about their weight and it really really messes with them as as much as someone wants to admit it leads that, that it carries on with them when they're adults and it sucks and most of the time they marry into something like that they marry someone that is the same that criticizes them that puts them down and it's just like a pattern and it's really really hard to get out of that i'm emotional about it because i've experienced the opposite like i said my parents have always helped us has always they've always led us in the correct path but they have let us experience whatever it is you know i got married at 18 my sister got married at very young too early 20s and our parents you know i know when i got married my parents were not for it i mean no i'm not gonna say weren't for it but they were they knew that i was young i was 18 if i had my 18 year old kid come to me and tell me i'm getting married i'd be like you're crazy um you know but they let me do it and thank god i made the right decision we just celebrated 10 years which is huge um but they let us find our paths and they've built very confident people and it starts with saying you're beautiful and the way you are is the way you are and i feel like that's such a huge part of this journey you know that's way before that's before anything and all of those little comments and stuff really stick with you especially when you're going through a journey like this it really really does um you know um i had a good childhood i really did my you know my parents did split up when i was young um but they have they have a good relationship they still have a good relationship and that has put such a positive impact on me and my sister um growing up and you know i had both my parents very involved always and you know and the reason why i'm talking about all of this is because i feel like when you're little to when you're older and you become obese and you become more bully more i can't say the word i you know what i'm talking about okay the extreme obesity um it's all these factors from your life but with me i really really feel that it started when i got my first job and i was able to eat and then later on you know it was my emotions when i, I got married at 18 um and I'm back and i'm back with a fan all right all right you guys i think i can get through this so i was 18 my husband was 19 and we got pregnant and we lost her around five and a half months it was really really tough on us um you know we had the blessing of meeting her um she was very very tiny and it was crazy because she looked just like her dad it was crazy since then, this is why you see this, all for you, Izzy. Her name was Julia Isabella Ivy. Um, she's my angel. And she is the reason why I push so hard for everything that I do. Everything. Um, she's the reason why me and my husband um try so hard in our marriage we've had our ups and downs but we we don't give up we always think of her she's the reason why i try so hard in school she's the reason why we set all of these different goals and because we know that she's watching she's really the reason for everything for our success it's crazy um 
It's been 10 years. It's been, oh my gosh, it's August. It's been 10 years, it's gonna be 10 years. She was born on August 28th. Um, so it's going to be 10 years. It was 2010 and 2020, wow, okay. So it is going to be 10 years and it feels like yesterday. It really, really does. Um, the impact of such a small time, I don't want to say small moment because that was the biggest moment of my life, but the smallest time, you know, it was, we got to be with her maybe, I don't even know how long. Because it went by so fast, but then it was like it was in slow motion. It was weird. If you've been through this, you could totally understand what I'm saying. Um, but anyways, she's my why. She's my why for everything. And this got super deep, but I really wanted it to get super deep. And this is why I've never talked about it and why I got my surgery. Um, she makes me want to be better with everything that I do. Um... You know, within the years, um, we decided we didn't want to try again. There was a lot of people that thought that we were trying for 10 years and I couldn't get pregnant. That wasn't the case. Me and my husband said, we're so young, 18, 19. Let's set goals for ourselves, you know? Let's get our degrees, let's buy a house, let's, let's travel, let's do things that make us happy. And that's what we've done. And we've done it. And a decade went like that super fast i just turned 29 and my husband's going to be 30 in a couple of weeks and you know it's different now um we i haven't said this to a lot of people but a year before my surgery we tried to get pregnant for an entire year being 304 pounds i don't know why i thought that was a smart move and we didn't get pregnant for an entire year and i said something is wrong obviously I am 304 pounds. You know? And that's me personally. I'm not saying if you're 304 pounds, you can't get pregnant. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that for me, it didn't work. And I really feel that it was because of my weight. And maybe not. Maybe I'm wrong. But that's what I personally felt. And I wanted to get that huge factor out of the way. So we're here now. Um, and... It's a year mark. Today is a year mark and we are praying and hoping that it happens for us and I really really feel that it will. Um, we're both really healthy. My husband has lost about 90 pounds since my surgery date. We are ready. We're ready and whenever God is ready then we will be parents again because we're already parents um anyways man that was tough i think i can get through the rest of the video that was just a really really tough part um how was my husband during all of this um before surgery i mentioned it to him for like two years he said i don't even remember he remembers so many things around two years um but i would just bring it up here and there like hey what do you think oh well if you want to do it you know i'm i'm down you know whatever like it's you it's your life it's your health um and then finally i was like you know what i'm gonna make an appointment with my doctor and he was like cool you know let's 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 do this you know so we did i mean so i did and i went and i got it started and i said look i have to do six months of classes if i want to change my mind but i can i keep looking at the mirror because i'm trying to see how messed up i look because I'm going to film this whole video <clears throat> and then be like, oh my gosh. Whatever, it's going to have to do, okay? Um, uh, so yeah, so I started my classes and I said, look, I have to do six months of classes. I can still change my mind. He was like, cool, you know, whatever. And that was a commitment. I had to go every single week for two hours. Um, and they were really strict with our attendance. And we had to be there and we had to be present. And we did it. And I did it. And then, you know, I had to wait a couple months to get surgery. He was there through it all. He asked me every question. He remembered everything. I would come home and we would stay up till like midnight and I would tell him what I learned. And it's crazy because now when I bring things up, he knows the answers. He could probably make a, he could probably do a Q&A about the vertical sleeve gastrectomy without me sitting here because he knows so much, which is 
so important during this it's just it's crazy like to have a support system is so important my family has been a great support system with it everyone everyone that's close to me and i'm very very blessed again i talk to so many people that write me that say my husband doesn't want me to get it my mom doesn't want me to get it my you know whoever my best friend doesn't want me to get it and the only advice that i can give you is this is hard but put yourself first it's so easy and you don't want to live life with just pleasing everyone because the time will pass and it's your life and like i've said before in order to be the best wife and friend and sister and mother and cousin and you know anything you have to fully love yourself and you have to fully be happy with yourself to be able to be that for someone else you can't be a mess and try to save someone else it's just it doesn't work and it's it it really doesn't and it starts with you so so babe thank you for supporting me through this crazy journey um like i said it in the video that i posted yesterday you've really only been the only one that has seen me man with my mood swings with my emotions with my i can't do this um and you're like yes you can you know with my everything um in the beginning when i was like i wanted to be in bed the first month like and i was like why did i do this it was bad it was pretty bad he was there he was really there for me this entire time and i'm thankful for you love you okay this year so many victories non-scale victories i can go on and on and on and on and on i can talk about getting on an airplane and not having to put on an extender i could talk about going um skydiving <laughs> no that is on my to-do list um zip lining i can talk about kayaking um man there's so many things there's just so many things uh going shopping and actually buying an outfit that you want and not oh i need to get the black dress because that's what fits me yeah no that's no longer me thank god um of course there's still clothes that i want to wear that i don't because i do have loose skin my stomach i struggle with it and i do have loose skin you know but it's nowhere compared to before where i would wear the same thing um there's so many things in this year when i think about it it went by so fast but then but then when I think about all the memories, it's like, wow, there's a lot, you know. Um, I really, really think it's about working hard every day and really taking it day by day. People will tell you that and you're just like, oh my gosh, that's so annoying. But really taking it day by day. If you think about how much weight you have to lose, if you have to think about, you know, 100 pounds, 200 pounds, 300 pounds, it's overwhelming. Um, thinking about the one day and what how much protein you have to eat how much water you have to drink how much you know meeting your vitamins that's already overwhelming and that's one day focus on that day and eventually a month will pass two months three months four months five months so on and i'm here a year and i don't know how i remember driving down to my surgeon terrified and i'm here you know be consistent you're going to mess up you're going to eat some hot cheetos if you're like me you're going to you know slip up it's okay don't be hard on yourself continue the next day don't go back to your old don't go back to your old habits you know my old habits used to be like i'm gonna be on a diet this week or i'm gonna start on monday then monday was a stressful day and i would eat pizza and then guess what that whole week went down the drain it happened 10 billion times don't let that be you this surgery is the most extreme thing you can do to lose weight, right? You've already tried everything. You've already tried every weight loss thing out there. There's millions. I know I did. And this is the most extreme and you can only do it once. You can't lose 140 pounds, gain it back, and go and get the surgery again. It's not possible. You've, you, it's a once in a lifetime thing and I remember them saying that in my classes and I was like man and that really really stuck with me it really did because I was like you can't get the surgery and just mess around and, and take it lightly you have to work every single day and it starts from the moment that you wake up to the moment that you go to sleep building those habits staying consistent um, and sticking with those habits and you know setting yourself up 
for success, taking that water bottle with you on a long ride, not forgetting it. If you forget it, you better stop at the gas station because guess what? That's a whole hour of you not drinking water and not meeting your liquids. Not forgetting your multivitamin, going back home and getting it or going and buying some because it all adds up. All those little mess ups, all those little, if it's happening a lot, it's going to add up. If it's here in a while, here in a blue moon, it's fine. You're gonna survive, you're gonna be okay. But it's it's being consistent and being and constantly just working and working and working. You know, I'm looking down because I have notes. Um, working out. Um, I know that's a huge stress reliever for me. You know, I was I have a food addiction. I've always had a food addiction. I'm always going to have a food addiction, and it's figuring out how to deal with it. Um, working out is what I do now instead of grubbing. I used to be happy, sad, mad everything and i would eat that was why i ate there was always a reason of why i was eating and now i enjoy things here and there i'm not gonna lie but it's more like is it giving me nutrients if is it helping me get to my goal or is it backtracking me am i gonna go back to 304 paulina no there is no way that i'm gonna let that happen can it happen absolutely um you know, but it's like working out, you know, eating right, feeding your body, those things. And like I said, obviously you saw my meltdown about wanting to have babies and stuff. And I want to be that example when I have kids. I don't want to be crazy, but I want them to learn. They Kids, it's a natural thing. They're going to learn with, with what, what they're watching, right? If I'm over here eating pizza and blah, blah, blah every single day and I'm like, you need to eat your vegetables. What? That doesn't make any sense, right? If... It just doesn't make any sense. It really, really doesn't make any sense. So it's really, really being consistent, working out, eating clean, all of the above. <sighs> Man, this is a lot in this video. Um, there's other topics, you guys. I did have a couple people message me, so I'm going to pull some of those up. I have something stuck on my thing. Um, so someone asked me. Oh, how I've been able to maintain it since I've lost the weight. So <clears throat> I got up to, so I got down to 160 and this last month, it was weird. I got on the scale when I was 166 and I was freaking out. I talked to my personal trainer, um, you know, she's been upping my muscle, my muscle, my uh, weight. And she told me you might gain weight, but look at what we're doing, you know? And I really, really tried to get that into my head. Um, and I'm, but I'm back to 160 now, um, because I, you know, I ended up snacking more. I, I got a little comfy. I was like, oh, I met my goal, you know, I can eat more and six pounds happened. But I really think it was because of my muscles. So now being a year, I know that the honeymoon stage is over and that again, like I just said, being consistent and remembering how hard this year was. And that's why I started this YouTube, YouTube channel. This is why I'm so open on Instagram because I need to remind myself what all the things that I did, how far I have come um, and to continue doing it, you know, six months, a year, two years from now and to really, really focus on all of those things. And when I do become pregnant and reminding myself that I am not eating for two, you know, I have to stay consistent. And then after getting back on my grind, like it's super important. And I think it's it's just going to be a wave. It's going to be a roller coaster. It's going to continue. Um, and it's going to be for life. You know, this year was a year to make it 2020, regardless. Well, 2019 and 2020, because I got it in August. Um, you know, this year has been rough on all of us with, with COVID and, you know, uh, it's been rough. It's been crazy. Um, and I'm so hopeful that all of this will be over soon and, and we can all get back on track. But regardless of anything that's going on, you guys, like I've said, don't let that be the excuse for you to fail. Because right now it's COVID, then something else can happen and something else can happen. And that is not the reason to gain your weight back that is not the reason to eat like crap it's really not <sighs> so many things you guys <clears throat> but honestly i think i covered about everything my why my childhood my family my friends my year and how it's been um my future 
honestly my future goals that i have set for myself you guys is to have babies and i'm praying for it so send me your baby dust my way send me baby dust not your baby dust just send me baby dust my way <laughs> and um uh, you know hopefully and and you know i have faith that it will happen when it's meant to happen um and that's gonna be it's gonna be all on my channel and i'm so excited i've been i've been looking and googling people of uh you know uh babies after vsg because <clears throat> i'm excited for it and i'm ready for it and we'll see and yeah man it's done this year is done it's a wrap tomorrow it's gonna be 366 days and it's still time to meet my goals and to to continue waking up and feeling as passionate as i have this entire year i want to thank all of you guys for watching all my videos and i am going to stay consistent with my podcast on wednesdays and my videos on sundays if you guys have ideas send them my way you guys every time i get in uh you guys send me a video i mean a video idea idea video video idea i jot it down and i get it done um because i know that when i was looking to get surgery i was looking up things and sometimes i could find them sometimes i couldn't but it was really really helpful it was better than reading an article i really liked watching the videos um so yeah you guys if you are new and you still haven't please subscribe to my channel you guys this video was emotional comment below what you guys thought tell me what you guys are going through if you're at your year mark what was your year like if you're going through it how are you feeling at this moment you guys really um share the struggles share the milestones share the victories i want to hear it all i always try to respond here and on my instagram at, at body mind and soul but again you guys please comment please like this video and please share it with anyone that you feel feel that you feel would um benefit from this you guys have a beautiful sunday and i will see you guys on my video on wednesday bye